is we will talk about tangent planes and normal lines. Our objectives are as follows. First, to illustrate a tangent plane and a normal line to a surface. To determine the equation of the tangent plane to a given surface. And to obtain the parametric equations of the normal line to a given surface. Let's first have tangent planes. Let's review some concepts from the previous unit. So given a point x0, y0, z0 that lies on a plane and a normal vector with components a, b, c to the plane, the equation of the plane is given by a times the quantity x minus x0 plus b times the quantity y minus y0 plus c times the quantity z minus z0 is equal to zero. We call this the standard equation of the plane. Consider this surface. GeoGebra was used to graph this surface. And consider a point on the surface, say 1, 1, 3. Here. And consider this plane tangent to the given surface at the point 1, 1, 3. Our goal is to obtain the equation of this plane. To obtain the equation of this plane, we will need a normal vector to this surface. This normal vector is obtained through the gradient of the function which defines this surface. So we have this theorem. Let S be a surface with the equation f of x, y, z is equal to 0 and p not be a point on S. Then, the gradient of f at the point p0 is orthogonal to the surface s at p0. Thus, the gradient of f at the point p0 is the normal vector to the surface s at p0 that we need. Thus, we have this theorem. Let S be a surface with equation f of x, y, z is equal to 0 and p0 with coordinates x0, y0, z0 be a point on the surface S with the gradient of f at p0 equal to the vector a, b, c. Then the tangent plane to the surface at p0 is given by the equation a times x minus x0 plus b times y minus y0 plus c times z minus z0 is equal to 0. Again, a, b, and c are the components of the vector here. And x0, y0, z0 are the coordinates of p0 which is a point on the surface S. Let's make this clear by having an example. Consider the surface defined by the function f of x, y, z is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z minus 4 is equal to 0. Find the equation of the tangent plane to the given surface at the point 1, 2, negative 1. From our discussion, we need a vector orthogonal or normal to the surface. And this vector is obtained from the gradient of f at the point 1, 2, negative 1. Hence, we will first need to solve for the gradient of f. And recall that the gradient of f is just equal to the vector where the components are the partial derivatives of f with respect to the variables x, y, and z. So for the partial derivative of f with respect to x, we will treat y and z as constants. Hence, we have 2x. For the partial derivative of f with respect to the variable y, x and z are treated as constants, so we have 2y. And for the partial derivative of f with respect to z, x and y are treated as constants, so we have 1. Hence, the gradient of f is equal to the vector with components 2x, 2y, and 1. Hence, the gradient of f at the point 1, 2, negative 1 is equal to the vector with components 2 
times x and x is 1 so we have 2 times 1 2 times 2 since y is equal to 2 and 1 which is equal to the vector with components 2 4 1 then the plane has a standard equation a times x minus x naught but a is 2 and x naught is 1 so we have 2 times x minus 1 plus b times y minus y naught and b is 4 while y naught is 2 so we have 4 times y minus 2 plus c times z minus z naught c is 1 and z naught is negative 1 so we have 1 times z plus 1 is equal to 0. Then the general equation of the plane is 2x plus 4y plus z minus 2 minus 8 plus 1 that's minus 9 is equal to 0. Therefore, the equation of the tangent plane to the given surface at the point 1, 2, negative 1 is 2x plus 4y plus z minus 9 is equal to 0. Now we go to normal lines. Let's recall that given a point with coordinates x0, y0, z0 on a line and a vector abc, which is parallel to that line, the following are the parametric equations of the line. x is equal to x0 plus at, y is equal to y0 plus bt, z is equal to z0 plus ct. Our goal here is to determine the parametric equations of the normal line to a given surface. So let's first define normal line. A normal line to the surface is a line through the surface that is perpendicular to a tangent plane that is in the direction of a normal vector. Illustrating, consider this surface, consider a point on the surface, say 1, 1, 3, and consider this plane tangent to the given surface at the point 1, 1, 3. Then, the normal line to the surface is a line perpendicular to the tangent plane. Observe that this line is in the direction of a normal vector. Thus, we will need the gradient of the function which defines this surface. Hence, we have this theorem. Given a surface S with equation f of x, y, z is equal to 0 and a point with coordinates x0, y0, z0 on S with the gradient of f at the point p0 is equal to the vector a, b, c which is not the zero vector, then the normal line to the surface at point p0 is given by the equations x is equal to x0 plus at, y is equal to y0 plus bt, z is equal to z0 plus ct. Hence, to determine the parametric equations of this line, we will need the point p0 and the gradient of f at the point p0 which will give the direction of the line. To make this clear, let's have this example. Consider the surface defined by f of x, y, z is equal to y sine x plus y, z minus z is equal to zero. We find the parametric equations of the normal line to the given surface at the point 0, 1, negative 2. Recall that in determining the parametric equations of this line, we need the gradient of f at this point 0, 1, negative 2. Solving for the gradient of f, we will determine the partial derivatives of f. So, for the partial derivative of f with respect to the variable x, we will treat y and z as constants. Hence, for the first term, we have y times the derivative of sine x with respect to x, that is cosine x. For the second term, 
Again, y and z are treated as constants. So the partial derivative of yz with respect to the, to the variable x is 0. Same for the last term. For the partial derivative of f with respect to y, we will treat x and z as constants. Hence, for the first term, we have sine x. For the second term, z is treated as constant. So the derivative or the partial derivative of yz with respect to the variable y is z. Hence, we have sine x plus z. For the last term, z is treated as constant. So the partial derivative of negative z with respect to y is 0. Lastly, for the partial of f with respect to z or the partial derivative of f with respect to z, we will treat x and y as constants. So the partial derivative of the first term with respect to the variable z is 0. For the second term, we have y. And for the last term, we have negative 1. Hence, the gradient of f is equal to the vector y cosine x sine x plus z y minus 1. Solving for the vector that gives the direction of the line, we have the gradient of f at the point 0, 1, negative 2. And this is equal to y, that's 1, times cosine x, but x is 0, so we have cosine 0. Now, sine x, again, x is 0, so sine 0, plus z, but z is negative 2, so plus negative 2, and y is 1, minus 1. And this is equal to 1 times cosine 0, that is 1. Sine 0 is 0, plus negative 2, that's negative 2. And 1 minus 1, that is 0. Hence, the gradient of f at the point 0, 1, negative 2 is 1, negative 2, 0. Or the vector 1, negative 2, 0. Hence, the parametric equations of the desired normal line are given by x is equal to x0 plus at, but x0 is 0, and a is 1, so we have t. y equals y0 plus bt, but y0 is 1, and b is negative 2, so we have 1 minus 2t. And z is equal to z0 plus ct, but z0 is negative 2, and c is 0, so we have z is equal to negative 2. Hence, the parametric equations of the desired normal line are given by x is equal to t, y equals 1 minus 2t, z is equal to negative 2. t is in the set of real numbers. And that's the end of our lesson for tangent planes and normal lines. Hello, Math 28 Beecher! To check out more lecture videos, click here! And to supplement your learning, don't forget to answer the exercises which you can find in the description box below. Enjoy and stay safe!